Hey YouTube family, I have a video for you guys today. You see that? I know. Hey you guys, how are you guys doing today? Uh, today the video is going to be a little different. Um, I know a lot of you are going to come at me and I completely understand. But it's gotten to the point that I can't live my life to the fullest because of situations that happen between family members and whatnot. And I don't know why I'm like this. I don't know. I question myself every fucking day. But the fact that you have family members draining you in ways that you wish you can be that hard person you used to be back then. We all change throughout the years. And um, it is what it is. And then I was trying, to, I was talking to this, to my daughter while well, texting on Snapchat with my daughter, my oldest one. And she keeps on checking on me. I mean, I can honestly feel the love coming towards her because every time she knows that I'm on my down, you know, on my lowest, she's always checking on mama, you know. She's always like, how did you feel today? How do you feel? Or excuse me if I throw some, shed some tears, but I, I shouldn't be doing this because I mean, never show your weakness, right? So I've always told my kids, never show weakness. Show that you're the strongest, you know? You're not a follower, you're the leader of anything that is thrown at you in life. Um, But I feel like I do have to do this video because you never know, you know, one day you're not going to be here and you want to go back to a video where I'm giving you an advice. But this advice, it's not all mine completely. I honestly came across this video from Salise Rose. I don't know if you guys follow her on YouTube. I'm, I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing it right, you know. Uh, let me just show you a picture of her. You guys know who I'm talking about. Okay, I came across this video and what I want to do with this video is I want to repeat her words but add to it, you know, because her words got to me because it's like I woke up this morning like so fucking depressed because people make me feel like I'm the problem. You know, knowing, o sea, no se ponen a pensar, o sea, knowing that I'm the one there for you. I'm the one putting up with your bullshit. I'm the one excusing your mistakes. I'm the one, like, through it all. I'm the one there for you, you know? Okay, if you guys know what I'm talking about, and if you have been in this situation, comment down below. Let me know I'm not alone. You know, but okay. Um, I'm not gonna mention any names. I don't want to put nobody out there. But if you're looking at this video, you know who you are. We have been through a lot, right? In life, like families always try to like put you down, stomp on you. Not knowing, not realizing how much you have done, how much you have given in life, right? Okay. And honestly, I don't want to hear any negative comments, please. I mean, I'm not there that I want to like read those. But if you have uplifting comments, please, please comment down below. So for starters, um... I woke up shitty of myself because I helped this person a lot. And what's in between our children. At the end of the day, I don't care about myself. But I do care so much about my grandparents.
my babies. Let's put it that way, okay? I feel like I can't breathe. I feel like the anxiety, it's like taking over me. My depression, oh my God, you guys don't know. O sea, if you don't know anybody's life, don't judge them, you know? Get to know them. That way you can understand what people are going through, you know? And when I do my videos, it helps me a lot because it's like I'm talking to family. I mean, when you guys subscribe to my channel, you guys are a part of the family already. Part of Claudella's family, you know? So, being in front of a camera, reviewing food, talking about anything, it's like I'm venting on you, you know? I want you guys to know to feel I mean I want you guys to, to one day you guys get to see me on the road on the, on the streets you guys can come to me and say I know you because I have followed you for so many years so I feel like I know you and that's a good feeling you know so I do my videos and when you see a smile but you guys don't know what's behind doors I can be smiling at you. I, I do a video because I don't want to be thinking about anything. So I just want to smile, laugh, make jokes. I don't know. In front of the camera. But today it's different because. Just because, you know. I mean, I don't want to put it all out there. But just know that with this message that Talise Rose put out there it was like God sent me this message because it's true to starters okay I always felt like it, it wasn't okay to walk away from a problem but when it gets to the point that yeah it's like they broke you you have no other choice and think to yourself I still want to live I don't want to be depressed I don't want to be with this anxiety so we all have to like step back and just continue life to the fullest I mean at least try right so I came to I came across this video of Sully's Rose saying you are not a bad person which I'm not a bad person if you get to know me you're gonna think then why are these stuff happening to you you're such a good person I can love so hard but is it because I love so hard and I show my love and I show that I care and all that is it the reason why I'm going through this I mean comment down below let me know because I don't know I always told my kids my partner that I lived a life back then that I didn't give a fuck about anything okay I did a lot of bad decisions. I took a, I mean, I did what I did. But it's like, you guys need to know that whenever you guys did something back in those years, you can't take it back. Once you do something, it, what's done is done. Let's push forward. I always say, I always tell my kids. So if I ever did something in the past... I need for you guys to push forward, you know? Deja el pasado en el pasado. Just leave it back there. Because what's done is done. You can't take it back. If I hurt you in any way, I don't know how to make it better. But if you forgave me, then let's push forward. You know what I mean? Okay, well, like she says, you are not a bad person for walking away from toxic family members. You know, it's right there. I hope you guys can read it. Okay? So I was like, whoa. And I was crying because I woke up crying. And I told my daughter, I feel like shit. When she asked me, Mom, how are you doing today? I'm like, I feel like shit. Because I feel like I'm walking away. And I'm doing wrong. I feel like I'm the wrong. You know? I feel like I'm the wrong person. I did something wrong. I feel like I did it. Okay. And then she's like. 
for not talking to certain toxic family members. You are not a bad person because you chose peace over chaos. You are not- You see, like she says, I shouldn't think that I'm the toxic person for walking away because I want peace. No. I just want peace. And I've told this person, I don't want to live like that anymore. But the fact that this person has no respect for me. And ever since that first boyfriend she had, she started being so disrespectful. And that's when I saw it. When my other kids said, no, mom, it has, it has always been like that, but you never saw it. But when it comes to me being the mom, I don't see stuff. And I guess because I ignored a lot of stuff, I had this thing that for my past relationships or whatnot, I start blocking stuff, blocking stuff from my head. So now I try to see the good in everybody. No, I mean, I don't know if you guys are understanding what I'm saying. So I'm thinking to myself, um, I don't want to believe that there's something bad out there. Let's put it that way. I want to believe that whatever is, um, how can I put this? I want to make sense in this video. I mean, if I'm going to put it out there, it's because I need for you guys to understand it that I'm not the toxic person. I was back then, I'm not gonna lie, I was young. Everybody's young and stupid thinking, oh, I can do this, oh, I can, I mean, life seems so easy when you're young. But when you get to a certain age, you start seeing all the things that you did that you wished you can take it back, but you can't. You can't, I even mean, if you're that one person that knows me and cannot live past the past, then just keep the fuck away from me. That's all I can say. Just keep the fuck away from me because I want to live it happy. I want to know that get whoever's in front of me forgave me for any mistake I did in life. You know, you got to learn how to forgive to forget. And I forgave everybody that made me feel like shit my whole life. My heart forgave everybody. If I didn't forgive anybody that hurt me in my past, I wouldn't be talking to that person and I would be living in hell because I have to forgive them in order for me to forget. You know, I'm doing it for myself. So when I got to that point, I spoke with my partner and I call him partner because we're not married. We've been together for years already. We've been together for more than 20 years. And um, it is what it is, right? And I know he understands. But we've been through together, together for more than 20 years and we've been like a roller coaster, you know, up and down. Our relationship has been going up and down. But it got to the point that I spoke with him and I told him, if you can't be happy with me, if I'm not making you happy as a person, we need to know, get our separate ways, find happiness somewhere. I'll find happiness somewhere. But at this point, my focus is my grandbabies and my kids. Because men come and go. Family, family's always there. I always say that to my kids. So I told him and I told my kids, I'm like, I just want to live happy for the rest of my life. O sea, lo que me queda de vida. I want to be happy. So if you guys can't, like, if you guys can't live the past, then let me live my future because nadie sabe, tomorrow's not promised. So let's live to the fullest. Now, I've been there for you. And like Silly says right here, uh, she's like, uh, we all should live regardless of any situation 
um, she's like, let me repeat her words right here. I mean, technically, what she says here, like, I'm being manipulated in so many ways. And it's true. I have been. But I ignore it. Oh, see, can't you see that? And it's like I'm talking directly to this person, this one specific person. Can't you see that I am trying to ignore every stupid thing that comes out of your mouth? Because you're a part of me. You know what I mean? I'm tired of being talked down to, you know? I am. It got to the point that I got tired of being talked down to, knowing I'm all you got. You know? A lot of the times, people just want to vil villainize you. Make you feel like you're the bad person. You know? And it gets to the point because there's a lot of years passing by. And you start believing it. You start believing that you are the villain. You know, you are the bad person. And then other people come across and they make you feel that you are. I just. And make us feel like we are the villains, you know, we are the villains of the family. And just because we try to walk away from a toxic family member. We're the bad persons. We're the bad people. You know? I don't think that's right. I mean, come on. Like Sully says, no one knows how a toxic family member makes you feel. But you. Yeah. Do that make sense? Nobody knows. Nobody knows about the toxic trauma that we go through. No one knows but me. But you, if it happened to you, you're the only one that knows what's going on. You're the only one that feels it because it's happening to you. You know what I mean? It's hard to be me. And then when I hear opinions about it, when I try to talk to somebody, they make me feel like I'm the problem. I'm the pr I'm the one causing it and this and that. So it makes me feel like I can't even breathe when it comes to the situations. I can't breathe. I mean, why not value our family members instead of making us feel like shit you know we live in a society when a lot of us fixed mindset people you know they tell you how dare you not talk to this person how dare you this how dare you that and you're like and what about me you know what about me So, come on. I mean, look at uh, what Salisa is saying. I mean, I'm going to put the last of the her audio of this video. And every word that she says is something I'm going through. And stuff I feel. So, 
let me just put her audio hopefully you guys can hear it clear hold on With that being said, she made a lot of sense. So, I guess I need to start believing that it's not my fault. I need to start believing that I did what I could. We can only do as much as we can as parents. And then if I, we don't see appreciation from our children or whatnot, then we should just step back and let them deal with their situation on their own because to be honest you had it all but you pushed you pushed me to the point that i'm done i'm done and i do want to thank you because if it wasn't because of your last push i wouldn't start healing Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any comments, comment down below and let me know what you guys think. And if you guys are going through something like this, let me know. Let me know I'm not alone. And I'll see you guys on my next video. I love you guys. Bye.